It's Friday, the 11th of January, 2019, and as usual, we're at the Flushing Spaniel Show in Knoxville, Tennessee. Seated next to me is David Donaldson. And Davis, what are we going to see this morning as we get started out in our week of Cocker Spaniels? Well, of course, we begin with the futurity. We've got 40 entries in the futurity. There's 12 Ascobs, 16 Blacks, and 12 Parties. So the first dog on the table in the 9 to 12 bitch class is entry number 18, Blue Moon's Raspberry Barrette. The breeder is Michelle Mitchell, sired, Grand Champion Bronze, Lomont, Loch Lomont and Capillaris D'Artagnan. The dam is Champion Blue Moon's Penny for Your Thoughts, owned by Michelle Mitchell and Brett Hat Hattrick and Esther Kolstenek. Being shown by Esther. So those of you watching, we've been able to determine during the break that the absentee in this class is number 62. like that's the way they are. Number 38 is, I'm sorry, number 18 is one, number 38 is two. Number three is number 26. And number four is number 20. So just to repeat, you have number 18 is number one. Blue Moon's Raspberry Beret. Number two is number 38, Pine Cliffs, Peaches, and Dreams. Number three, Candy and Max's Note to Self, with number four being number 20, Blue Moon's Little Red Corvette. And there are the rosettes going out. Yeah. Congratulations to our placements. And that'll be our Ask Club class winners, and we'll wait for the variety coming after they do the other two varieties. Tony, we're back here now with our ASCA best of variety in our futurity. And we've got our four class winners in front of us. And we have, they are ordered in age. So the two dogs are first, the nine month and over, followed by the six month and over. And then now on the table is the winner of the nine month and over puppy bitch competition, number 18. Blue Moon's Raspberry Beret. Breeder, Michelle Mitchell. The sire is Grand Champion Loch Loman and Capillar's D'Artagnan out of Champion Blue Moon's Penny for Your Thoughts. Owner, Michelle Mitchell, Bart Hetrick, and Esther Kostelnik. And this is Esther with the handling honors. Okay, here we go. Looks like the best, best in the ASCOP for charity is number 18, Blue Moon's Raspberry Beret from the nine month and over class. Owner, Michelle Mitchell. And the handler is Esther Kostelnik. And also owned Bart Hetrick and Michelle. And the best of opposite sex is the, from the nine to 12, nine month and over class, number 53, Champion Lawrence, turn back time. So congratulations to both of our ASCOB, best in futurity, and best opposite sex to best of variety in futurity. Big honor as a breeder to win a futurity. Great start for the career of that particular Cocker Spaniel. 
and we've seen her a number of times in our area, and she's uh, definitely a nice, very nice bitch. And here comes the rosettes, the large rosettes, for our best in futurity for ASCOB. Congratulations to our breeders and owners as they receive their awards. So here we go, best in futurity class. All of our uh, winners for each variety and are quite now a, in the ring. Quite a crowd gathered around the ring. Congratulations to the best in futurity winner from the ASCOP nine month and over bitch class number 18, Blue Moon's Raspberry Beret. Breeder, Michelle Mitchell. Sire, Grand Champion, Lock Loman and Capillars D'Artagnan. Dam, Blue Moon's Penny for Your Thoughts. Owner, Michelle Mitchell, Bart Hetrick, and Esther Kostelnik. And Esther was doing the handling honor, quite an honor for both Estel and Michelle, and Bart as well. Very nice. My name is Linda Moore and we are here for the first day of the American Spaniel Flushing Show. The Futurity has just wrapped up and it's my pleasure to be here with the big winner, Barry Blue Moon Raspberry Beret and her owner, Esther Kostalnik. Esther Kostalnik, he can fix that. Laura Henson and the judge, Ellen Roberts. Esther, tell me a little bit about Barry. Okay, Barry was actually, she's bred by Michelle Mitchell and Bart uh, Hetrick, and I co-own her with them. She's almost a year old. She is the love of my life. Um, and it's just a lot of fun to show her. Well, and we have a legend here over to your right. Can you tell me her connection to Barry? She is the owner of Barry Sire, which is Loch Loman and Kaplar's D'Artagnan, and she owns the sire of uh, Barry's m mother. I can't even talk today. Before we ask Ellen what she loves about Barry, why don't I ask Laura what she loves about Barry? Oh, everything. I saw her when she was just six months old, and I said, that's a perfect picture of a Cocker Spaniel. And, and she went around the ring, and it just was all there. Yeah, she never missed a step. Well, it certainly was today. Ellen, tell us a little bit about your the fraternity today and your thoughts about it and then about Barry. I had some wonderful puppies, um, great movement, a lot of front on the bitches, which I did not expect. The bitches overrode the dogs with fronts. Um, beautiful heads, beautiful condition. I'm pleased that everybody brought me such beautiful dogs. Um, the bitch, Barry. Uh, she took my breath away. Um, I knew, to be honest with you, my mind did not come off of her at all. I was just too busy telling the owner, relax, relax, don't blow it. She's everything a cocker bitch should be. Um, I think there's a huge career for her. I'm very excited that I got to judge her and put her up. Um, I was so afraid coming into this that nothing would really excite me and I almost started crying because she is stunning um, and I sincerely mean that and I wish you all well with her. Thank you so much. I had the pleasure of being Ellen's ring steward today and let me say she was talking underneath her breath when you came into the ring so I just want you to know that she spotted her right off. <laughs> Little girl. Well, thank yes. you, thank you all for being here today. Thank you for thank judging you. the futurity, and congratulations again, Esther. Thank you.